Okay, we are live. We're live, and it's happening. The Yay. moment we've all waited, or I've waited for. <laughs> um, the Oxford Navy living room. Like, Yay. I'm so excited for this. Um, it's been a long time coming. I have waited and waited and waited and waited and waited, and now it's finally happening. But what I want to do go live and show you guys, one, was how this brush, like I got a few questions and messages about this, right? How this brush attacks this insane texture. Do you want to get close and show the texture? Yeah, if you guys have watched any of our videos and you've seen this craziness. So anyways, this is the large Andy Sloan wall brush. Thick, about what? Four inches long, five inches long, um, at least an inch and so thick. Right. Holds a lot of paint. Like this is like a roller, but it's not, <laughs> it's a brush. Anyways, so I want to show you how easy this attacks texture. Because I was asked this a lot. What was it like painting that texture really isn't a big deal. Like the long bristles of this brush and the fact that they're all splayed out going different directions really <laughs> makes this very easy. Yeah, we've had a lot of people think that we're absolutely mad crazy painting a house with a paintbrush, but it's it's a different, different game. And I will say, I have used a roller for about... I would say if everything we've done so far was 100%, we used a roller for like 5% of it. And that was only because I didn't want to balance um, a ladder on our staircase. <laughs> um, and I couldn't reach it or I would have done it with this brush. This brush is like the greatest thing ever. How many, how many times would you say you've dipped the brush for this section? Four. Four times, yeah. If that's maybe three, four, probably four. But the thing is, it just keeps going. <laughs> going. <laughs> yeah, so we can't explain enough how impressed we are with this paint. Like, and it is. It's like not even a salesman thing. It's kind of like... Man, it's a game changer for paint, for for me at least. I hate painting walls. I absolutely hate it. I hate painting walls. I hate painting trim. I love painting furniture, but walls I hate. But this stuff, it's different. Like it doesn't stink. I'm not in a house that smells like a construction zone. I it dries fast. It's easy to clean. It's water based. Like. I just rinse this brush out in the sink when I'm done, and it just rinses clear, and then I'm good. Like, it's clean, it's just easy. Like, I'm telling you, this is game changer. Granny says, hi, boys. Hi, Granny. <laughs> Granny's like, what are you doing to your walls? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, and people think we're crazy that we're uh, painting this living room um, this dark of a color, but you can see show you a couple of walls here. It is just windows, 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 windows. And then a giant white fireplace. And then, yeah. More windows, giant white fireplace. <laughs> so yes, we will be keeping all of the white to pop against this super rich navy. Inky, inky blue. It's like, it's, it's like ink. That's like the best way to explain it. Break open like a a blue big ball point. That's the color of Oxford Navy. I just got a little bit there because really not doing as I should. These speakers are coming off the wall and I didn't do that. I just <laughs> if you I got the paint and I couldn't wait. Like I've been waiting for this for so long, so we had already um, decided on this room before we ever bought the house. <laughs> so, and as luck would have it, it was literally the last paint color we got. So now we officially have all. No, we don't really have this one because they all came in smashed. We have one. We have one. We have one. Remember it came in its own box? Okay, so 
we have one. So we have one of these. We have one graphite. There and, are more on the way. And we have one Athenian. That wants to stand back. And, oh, yeah. And you can see the coverage. Do you see brown popping through? Yeah, to be honest, I don't know if that's going to need a second coat. Oh, here. Bella Loomis says, hi guys, welcome to the neighborhood. Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, that's fun. How close to we to you are we? Um, I'm going to trade you because I want to show somebody, I want to show something else. Okay. Let me turn this around. Okay, so... Cambrian blue. I had a lady met like literally comment. I don't know, fifteen minutes ago, asking how far this Cambrian blue actually went. Well, it did all of that. Continuing. It also did all of this. Oh, you're about to see me in the mirror. Hey. And we still have some left of the single gallon. So that should tell you, kind of get, get, just get across, you know, how it's going. And to be honest, like when I ordered this wall paint, I ordered what, three extra um, Oxford navies for this living room. I think we'll probably get it done with one. And you we have to get we ordered six total. Yeah, yeah, I ordered three. <laughs> I ordered three one. extra for this living room, and uh, we'll probably get it done in one. Um, yeah, just for how that's done. Yeah, we'll have this done in one. So, I mean, I got like a smear on here. Three houses up. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> nice to meet you, neighbor. Right. Um, We'll have to do the whole, what is it, cookie thing? You bring people cookies? They're supposed to bring us cookies. Yeah, you're supposed to bring us cookies. <laughs> that's how that works. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think that's it. We just kind of wanted to show you guys the Navy because we were very excited for it. Did he show you the fireplace? I, I glanced. I think I like barely. So this fireplace has these super beautiful Art Deco sconces. And they're like a, a pink color. But look at that. Those are the most beautiful things ever. They're original. They're the most beautiful things in this house to me. Like really, when we saw this house, I saw those sconces and I was like, yep, that's it. This is the one just because of the sconces. But because they're pink and they have a gold um, frame, I was like, hmm complimentary color blue and then we had all of the big huge windows and the white and we were like let's do a dark blue so henceforth oxford navy let's turn back to high mason really quick yeah the people who know it's probably like yeah that sounds about right yeah our deck was is they bought a little house <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah bought a house because of the wall scotts yeah. but it is what it is um is there anything else we should show? Oh, canvas. So if you watched in the last videos, we were kind of, me and JD were going in between Doric and canvas and we had painted the entryway Doric. Well, we decided to go back with canvas. So, because it's just, it, uh, the Doric was too gray. It made the house seem very cold and like, um, I don't know, Cape Codish. Um, it was just weird. It didn't seem right. So we went back to canvas, which is like a really pale, taupey, nice color. Here, I'll show you. Oh, or not. So that's canvas. You can kind of see it next to the baseboard white and gives you a good idea what color it is. Yeah. That's canvas. So that's where we're at with that. Granny says, paint some of that dark blue next to the light. I want to do that. I want to do that. Here, take that. So he showed these uh, wonderful um, wall sconces, but that is the only light in this room currently. 
Because this room was made for le- for lamps. Yes, chandeliers, lamps. Trying to find a good angle where you can, where you can see. see the blue without the glare of the light. It's not working well. It's not. It's pretty. It's if, I, if I put your head in the, way. In, in the way, you can really see how deep and dark blue it is. Okay, that's nice. Use my head as a light blocker. Granny says, oh yes. We'll take a picture in the light when we can open up these windows. That, uh, the that worked pretty well. Did it? Yeah. <laughs> you, you see the blue? Oh, very. Like it's, uh, yeah. oh my god, I'm excited. Okay, so we're gonna let you go because now this room is top priority over everything else. Um, and that's where we're gonna be with that. Is there anybody any questions? I think I saw one. Did you? Oh, that's nice, Bella. She has a partial gift basket together. Aww. I've never gotten a neighborly gift basket. That'd be the coolest thing ever. Uh, <laughs> ever. I don't know. Anything to say, Mr. Pico? Yeah, Pico's always around. He's uh, spoiled. He has to lay on something. Um, well, he's dead. And just, you know, he's got a bed, like, six feet right. He's He likes to be with us, too. Um, but yes, guys, and, it'll, and as always, like, if you have any questions later on, then we're not actually live anymore. Um, Hold on. Spirit, gonna... wait a minute. We have a Facebook page for the blog. Uh, I want to be on this Facebook page. <laughs> is it a group or is it a page? I think that's the greatest idea ever. Teresa Onsira, welcome to the neighborhood. Hi, Teresa. Man, this is fun. Like, <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah. This is fun. I had no idea we were going to meet all of our neighbors on this video. Right. How close are we to you, Miss Teresa? And I'm assuming it's kind of crazy. Everybody knows which house we have. 14th and Gidding. Oh, you're right on the corner. Or are you the, are you the Spanish or the red brick one? My friend used to live in the uh, white stucco red roof one years ago, and it was beautiful then. I can't believe what it... can't imagine what it's like now, because it was... Uh, a lot was done to it. Uh, if you're in the house, does it still have the hot tub in the back and attached to the garage? 1429. I don't so we're, we're 08, so no 9 would be on that side. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Still very new. <laughs> still very new. Mm-hmm. Janice Hopper mentioned me in a comment. She's up towards 16th across the street. House with the oh. ivy. Oh, the two-story one with the big pretty window with the uh, chandelier, right? We've admired your ivy for a while. We're all <laughs> with you. <laughs> all right. Well, on that, please add me to this Facebook group. That'd be the coolest thing ever. Yeah. Um, this is like, to be not going to lie, the coolest, neatest block area of Clovis, um, houses in, there are just no other houses really like these houses. Um, so I'm all about it, all about it. But on that, <laughs> I'm gonna let y'all go so I can paint these walls navy. Um, as always, let us know if you have questions. Yeah. Stay tuned guys, Bye. good night.